Bubblegum, Nina Vina, Hamburger Eyes, Nikki. Oh, God, it's coming in quick here. I'm so fucking hungry, guys. Hold on, I'm going to put you this way for a minute. I'm getting McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't had McDonald's breakfast in, like, I don't even know how long. And I'm fucking freaking hungry. Hi, fat sister. Um, Bobby Joe, Jamie, Earl, TP, me, if me, Brad, how are you feeling this morning? None of these people, not one name that she just read out is still in her chat. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, Daphne, Crystal, Courage, Cher, Cherry, Penny, Deb, Tammy, Rachel Moore, Star Sparkle. Hi, Mike. <laughs> I'm just going live for a quick, uh, Hi, Gail. Um, you had a sausage burrito? I'm having a sausage egg McMuffin with an extra hash brown. Fuck it. And a large, uh, apple juice with ice. I'm so hungry. Oh, man. So, McD for breakfast. Janie. And then I'm going back to bed because I did not sleep good at all. How's the hoo today? I, um, yeah, I wanted to get breakfast and I guess I could tell you guys about my night because it was crazy. Like, I'm not going to be able to go live later, I don't think. I'm not. I'm going to be busy, but... Oh, my God, Ashley, you got to hear the farts. Oh, my God. Yeah. Would that happen to be Ashley Maserati Bugatti? Hmm? 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 No. Lambo. <laughs> Ashley Lambo... Oh, wait. Maserati Bugatti was the troll. My bad. I prefer the troll. Lambo. <laughs> She thought she was such a bad bitch. Like, oh, hey, Ashley, I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to tell you that. I still say Ashley is a whole ass troll. So I'll tell you the fart. I'll tell you about the fart in a minute. Um, after eating McDonald's early. No point in taking the TV. We, we did all this. We set it up and never watched a fucking he's so funny the tv was on and he's like so the tv we use as a no she didn't she never worked into youtube at the same time she started doing the youtube after she had lost that last job of hers lamp because <laughs> the light from the tv i was like i guess i don't know <laughs> i'm leaving the tv there for now i don't use it he says he doesn't he doesn't watch TV, so he doesn't need a TV. Hi. Hi. Yeah, and the and the meal too. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You do. Head while I'm driving. I'm driving. Yeah. My life. We're gonna park and eat. Cause uh, 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 classic we were talking about this yesterday how she's so shy she'll never just like pull over where there's people and eat her fucking food so goddamn self-conscious you know what i mean look she gets her mcdonald's there's always a parking lot at mcdonald's why don't you just pull over and eat in their parking lot oh because there was other cars around you she's going to find a secluded place with no one there to see her eat so i'll just upload this video and i was gonna you know most people won't be on live this early and this will just be like my thing for the day because. Whew. All right, let's eat. Probably won't be on too long. All right, let's eat. Feels like you're dying. No, I want my AC on. Frig that. Hi, guys! She needs her AC on. The windows rolled down a little bit. It's not enough. It's April. I'm going to make you guys hungry for me. I know. Oh, half brown. Oh my god, I'm like starving. They're fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, my shrinking project. Yeah, I just left his house. Like, he offered me breakfast, but... Damn it, sorry guys, I always miss it. Thank you for the hype train. I wasn't hungry at the time. And that, like, after driving for, like, an ever. Mm -hmm. like... Yeah, I slept there. And it's like shit because look at I wasn't planning on it, so I didn't have anything with me. And uh so last night I learned so much about this guy. Like I completely misjudged him the, from the first night. Like um 
no, I t I'll tell you in a minute. It was an amazing night. I've never done something like this with a guy, like even with BB, anybody. Like we just, I got there at like what time? Like 6.30 ish, I think, or six something. It was before seven, I think. I get there. He was in such, I got to see him in a, in a mood where he was, I don't know if me coming over made him happy, but he was so happy. Like he was. <laughs> She's so stupid. Oh my God. I am living for these fucking replays. I don't know what it was. He was just in such a great mood. So what does that mean? He's usually in a shit mood. This is the first time you're seeing him in such a great mood. Um, you've only known him like three days. You should see someone in a good mood in three days silly like my cheeks hurt from laughing this guy is effing hilarious like naturally all night just the one-liners the quick wit this guy we talked honestly till it was 1 30 a.m when i noticed i just listened to him talk the whole time like he was talking about egypt he was talking about himself what he's he did magic tricks for me he's really fucking cool he's really fucking cool he did magic tricks for me <laughs> he's really fucking cool pushing 40. Oh my God. Is this when the Kia tires were bald and we were praying for a blowout? We're getting there. We're getting close. Uh, when we used to pray for the blowout was when she was coming to back and forth to Montreal, like five times a week. And I used to be like, Oh, let it break down on carry. Let it break down on carry. There's nowhere to pull over. No one's patient with you on the Deca it's the Decarry Expressway in Montreal. It would have been the most beautiful spot between here and her home for her to break down would have been Decarry. I I was wishing if it was going to happen, please God, let it happen there. Cool. He did he used to work apparently um I think in somewhere he was doing like, I don't know, he's been to 27 countries. He did this trick where he like let's remember we're talking about Koki here. Koki has been to 27 countries. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't say like he worked on a boat. The boat went to 27 countries. Maybe, maybe, you know, no, he has been to 27 countries and he worked like uh, uh, this kind of thing over here. Oh, and he, I forget what bullshit she was saying yet in our last retro react that he had done in Brazil and stuff. No, he didn't. Come on took a piece of paper he's like roll it in a ball or he's like take a piece of paper roll it in a ball put it down and then he's like he has a big vein here and he like like the magic trick was like the ball went in his vein and it disappeared and then he went like this and it was like behind my ear i don't know he's just really cool um he did like origami he showed me origami he showed me um egyptian dancing and music and like hubby oh yeah he was cracked out Everybody knows it because we now know it, right? When Koki starts doing his fucking weird dancing, takes his shirt off and stuff, he is cracked out of his fucking mind. So she gets there. He's in a great mood. He starts dancing around and singing and stuff. Cracked out. Be Habibi. <laughs> like, he's so cute. And um. We didn't even do anything. No drinking, nothing. Just hanging out. Like, I could smell food when I got there. He's like, oh, I'm cooking. He he cooked this, like... There's a massive visual tell on her face every time that her nose has been involved in the, <clears throat> the activities the night before. So to say, we didn't do anything. We didn't even drink. Well, you put something up your nose because your nose is bright red. Every single day that she puts something up her nose, her nose becomes bright red. She's got that, like thin, thin, super white skin. It really fucking shows. Look at, look at her nose right now. Her nose looks like she's been shoveling outside in winter for two hours, you know? No, no. That's a different kind of snow. Very simple because he was kind of tired from work and he had um, a whole chicken. He cooked it for a long time with like onions, garlic and all this stuff, chicken base and added rice. So it was like a, ended up being like a chicken and thick porgy. I don't know. Oh, uh, like a chicken soup it was so good and it was healthy so i felt good after i didn't have to poo poos i didn't have to use the poopery i didn't have to poo poos he was so funny i can't like i can't remember what he would say but he was telling jokes and oh my god he's so smart like he's really smart like sorry 
apparently he was telling me a story about when he moved here. He was like a head chef. He was like, he made like, he was like, he made. He was never a head chef. Everybody understands that, right? To this day, I just want to make sure anybody who wasn't around for Kraken Olympics, Koki was never a head chef. There is photographic evidence of him. And this is, he's already lived in this country for years, right? Working as a prep guy at uh, Poissonnerie Semifruit, okay? That place is a dump, a complete dump. They barely cook anything there at all, okay? And he was doing prep. You cannot tell me that somebody went from a head chef and then after a few years, they end up working as a prep guy at that shithole of a poissonnerie. It is impossible. Impossible. My God. I never did go and film there, right? I should have gone and fucking filmed poissonnerie Sammy Fruit. Y'all would have seen what I mean. Uh, no, excuse me. You, you barely worked in the kitchen. Jesus. He was a wannabe chef. He called himself a chef. He's a chef. You know, in his mind, crackhead. Jesus. I don't think there was even a head chef at that seafood market. It was a dump. It was a dump. It's not even really a market. That that place was a fruit and vegetable, like, oh God, how can I explain? They sell like not the best fruits and vegetables, okay? In mass quantities, it is very, very cheap. I used to shop there all the time. I'm not shitting all over that, okay? If you're going to cook the vegetables, they're fine. If you you just can't really eat them raw. They're not that good. You know what I mean? They're, they're whatever, <laughs> just whatever. So then that place became big. They opened a bunch of those little, uh, or semi fries and they started tacking on a, a fish market. Poissonnerie is like a fish place, right? And a butcher. Now there's like a butcher in all of them and a poissonnerie in all of them. They barely have anything and everything they have there comes from frozen they're opening, let's say, bags of shrimp, bags of like uh, calamari and stuff, defrosting it and then preparing it a couple of ways. Or you can just buy some fucking frozen shrimp from them. There's no head chef. There's a, it, He basically opened plastic bags and dumped them into bins of uh, water to let them defrost. That was his job. It's pretty good money as a chef or he did. I love you too, Mike. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Gail. Yeah, he's very, um. However, it's true. There is a yeah, but to this. Yeah, but the thing with Sammy Free, it's a very tight knit place. Um, Everybody who works in there is Arab, pretty much. Uh, the employees are all just uh, speaking in Arabic to each other and stuff. And allegedly conspiracy, whatever. If you just like know someone, let's say who's worked there for a while, they will pay you cash. Allegedly, conspiracy, whatever. And that's why a lot of people want to work there because they're either on welfare and working there for cash or have another job and then have this undeclared, you know? Oh, man. The food was really good. He reminds me a lot of BB in the same. Um, yeah, Mariah, it was still cool. It was cute. It made me laugh. He made me laugh like the whole night, the whole night. Um, one I didn't notice the time pass. Um, it was so fun. Like it was just fun hanging out with him. Oh my God. And he was like, um, oh my God. Oh my God. I died. I thought of you guys We're in bed. All of a sudden I hear a loud noise and a, um, what? He said, what? Really loud at the same time as a loud, loud, loud fart. <laughs> Hi, Fernanda! <laughs> and his farts were loud. He did like two loud ones. <laughs> Hi, Daniela! Yeah, because she had probably done a bunch of loud ones. And he, I don't know, he wanted to make her feel less like self-conscious about it. He's like, oh no, if she's self-conscious, maybe she won't come back. Let me uh, make the tension go down a little bit. I got to get that rent money and this crack money. Yeah, girl. No, I'm not afraid to be on my own. BB was super quiet, hardworking guy, wanted no part of any kind of bullshit online or just bullshit in life in general. A simple guy didn't depend on her for a goddamn thing. When she lost her job, this is what she has told us many times, BB was the one paying the rent all alone. 
She started up her YouTube. I think she was lying to him about like, oh no, but I'm looking for another job. She ne she was never looking for another job. She was waiting to see if the YouTube would take off. But that entire time he was paying everything on his own. He was the one that got away. I will say that forever. The best thing Chantal's ever had. And she fucked it up big time. And he actually did really like her at the beginning. Even at the beginning of her channel, there's a couple of videos. You can see there's still like chemistry between them. She fucked this up. The best thing she ever had. I'm not going to eat the other hash brown just yet. I don't know if I'll be able to. So he, um, we ate. Beauty bite. I actually sent one of my viewers a snap. I replied to a snap. And his arm was around me. And she's like, who's that? I'm like, I'm oh, sorry. I'm like, my new boyfriend is a <laughs> He farted so loud. No, you don't want to see my eyes right now. Look at this. I look really like my makeup's everywhere. So, <clears throat> no, I told you we don't do that regularly. He said he's never doing it again. He apparently only did it one other time. And then, because he said it me really messed up his, like, congested him for a long time. No. Drugs are bad. I'm going. Anyway, so. Yeah, she moves along quickly after lying to everyone that she didn't do drugs last night. And drugs are bad. And he doesn't want to do drugs. Sure. And then, after a whole night of talking, then the lovemaking begins. <laughs> she just called it lovemaking with a fucking lanky-ass crackhead that she's known for three days. The lovemaking begins. And this guy... <laughs> I don't know how... I do, he's crazy. Like, he just made me laugh all night. And then he drives me crazy in a sack. Like, I feel so hot and he's so fit and in shape because he's a really hard worker right for me when he was young he really opened up to me said his dad passed away when his dad was only 51 um he had a pretty good bringing it up egypt they had money so um his dad had like a business kind of like bb2 and he does have his permanent residency he's been here like 11 years so that was the moment right there the first time that we heard that he had lived here for 11 years and that's when i figured he had gone to jail because why wouldn't somebody have asked for citizenship when they come from a country that has dual citizenships or allows dual citizenships? Why would someone have been here 11 years and have stayed on a permanent residency? The only way I knew, like the one thing I knew was that if you've been to jail or prison, it can fuck with you getting citizenship. I was right. You know what I mean? We knew nothing. But sketch, fucking sketchy. Yeah, two years minus a day in jail. Exactly, exactly. He would have loved to have citizenship. It's a lot easier to be kicked out of the country with a permanent residency as opposed to a citizenship, right? And uh, let's just say his uh, <clears throat> return to Egypt doesn't really seem like an option. But he's really smart. Like just all of the, he's so different. Like he has so many talents. He's just like a really cool person. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to, you know, I thought he was just like a sex machine and that's all he wanted, but that's not true. He just wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. Um, and tonight was amazing, like, for that, because I feel like I could be open and be like, do this, do this, I like this. But it's the best feeling, you know, like, making whatever. He's a Libra. And Libra and Aries. Yeah, you know, when I'm paying for a service... I demand it done the way I like it too. I'm just saying. <laughs> These are very compatible. And we were talking about horoscope. He's like, read this. What's your horoscope say? Like, it was just amazing conversation and making each other laugh. We played an online slot machine and like I, I picked the slot and he won like a hundred and something dollars. Hi, Raindrops, BBW. Andreas, did you leave your TV? Yeah. I'm going to leave. Oh, shit, I missed that the first time around. So on day three, they're already gambling together. And they had been gambling together in, in the midst of all the drugs and all the wasting of money that was going on and stuff. There was also that fucking uh, cell phone gambling that they used to do. Day three. I also love when gambling people tell you, like, 
oh my God, I won a hundred and something dollars or, oh my God, I won a thousand dollars or whatever. You know what they never tell you, right? How much money that they lost before losing that thousand dollars. If you played $3,000 and then lost $1,000, I'm sorry, I'm not a gambling addict. To me, that means you lost $2,000, but they'll never tell you that. Leave it there. We're going to probably watch a movie tonight. Really, Horfian? So what I'm going to do Sunday, I'm going to definitely take the time to stay at home and do things I have to do. Monday, um, <laughs> yeah, Andreas, I don't use it, but absolutely 100% right DG she's never been this happy with salad ever now you could say and I used to say when we watched this the first time around like what was scary was that she was like falling in love with this guy and getting hooked on the drugs those two things happening at the same time and with the same person was creating this sick bond between them of like you and me against the world in her mind you know and also it's like what am I really in love with here? What am I getting hooked on? Am I hooked on the drugs or am I hooked on the guy? And that feeling of like addiction was, they were weaved together, Koki and the drugs. You know what I mean? It was, it's so fucking dangerous. Not just in her case, but when this happens and people, you know, like get on drugs with someone else and stuff. I don't know. A lot of us have seen this happen to people in our lives and stuff. It's very, um, hmm. It confuses the mind. Put it that way. Fucking insane. Hell yeah. He knew exactly what he was doing. This was not his first rodeo. I tried to warn her of that. I'm stuffed up. I don't think I blew my nose once since being there. Like this is, sorry. Hi, Jennifer. He is so cool. He's like, oh, I'm going to cook for you. You're going to get healthy. He's really healthy. So this morning he ate, um, he ate, um, he made this thing. It's like tahini, which is sesame seed paste mixed with molasses. And he would eat it on bread. But he's really cool. Like he's really cool. But he's really, oh God, he's jokey. I never expected him to be like that. Like he wasn't like that the first day. He was really jokey and maybe he was like, once you get more comfortable with someone, they open up more. So he's really, uh, for sure. Once you get to know someone, they do open up more things change between people. But here's the reality of the situation. Uh, on day one, when she's meeting him, he was probably wondering where his drugs were going to be coming from every day. Oh my God, how am I going to pay for this? How am I going to afford my drugs? Day three, knowing her, knowing she's coming over. Hey, I'm getting fucked up for free tonight. This like hustle is working. He was excited when she gets over. He's like going nuts because he was cracked out and knew that he would be getting cracked out for the rest of the day. It's the same reason when she starts doing her get ready with me's every day to go to Koki's. Okay. Every time during Crackhead Olympics. She would be putting on her makeup, all dressed up and stuff, and start feeling nauseous. That nauseousness is very common in people who do drugs before they, you know, like they know they're going to, they're about to get it. They know they're about to get high. It's like the anticipation of that high, right? He was having the anticipation of the high when she gets there. He's in such a great mood, you know, just like she was having it every day. Please spend some time. Really? You made me try it. It was pretty good. He offered me, kept offering me food for breakfast, but yeah, like I said at the time, I wasn't hungry. He really didn't want me to leave. He's like, why do you change the plan again? He said you were going to stay. <clears throat> I had to talk with him and told him, I like to sleep at my own house. Yes, because I, I also have a CPAP machine. I'm not going to bring that. <laughs> but not just that. I miss my cats so bad. I'm going to fucking squeeze their heads like this. Am I getting attached? When he showed me Egyptian um, writing, like they write 
this way. Yeah. Like we were. <laughs> She's so cultured. <clears throat> she he showed me Egyptian writing. Remember, pushing forty years old, Egyptian writing, and we write this way. They write this way. She learns for the first time at forty and describes it the way a eight year old would describe it to you. Right this way. They write this way. And um, I need food. Um. Oh my god, that's funny hieroglyphics. Yeah. I was dying. Like, I was like, no more. Ah, yes, the breathing machine. The breathing machine. I have to tell him no more. Like, that's never happened. He's not practicing, no. Uh, Muslim. <laughs> you don't need to point that out to us. You've been boning. You you let us know how he likes to go like a rabbit all night doing Xena with his non-wife. Heham. <laughs> okay. He's been drugged up every single second that you've known him. Heham. <laughs> Come at. Come at. No, he's not practicing. Oh, really? I thought he was. <clears throat> he's not a practicing mud one. Yeah, he's really cool. He's on all kinds of jobs. Um, always provided for himself, like a proud guy, like that way. Um. Ah! Oh my God, that is so rich coming from the woman who ends up paying his rent for the better part of a year. Dafka. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Give me. I will. Hi, Elizabeth. <clears throat> chewing like a heathen. Well, you're right. I am chewing kind of gross. Okay. So, that's what happened. I'm trying to think of some of the things he said. It was so funny. Well, and him too. Like at one point, we were all gigg like both giggling, just like it was so fun. She's like, I like to feed people. <laughs> Apparently, he can like has a talent with chopping and really good with his hands. Okay, that's disgusting. I'm choosing to ignore that second part, but apparently he's really good with chopping. Yeah, because he's a prep cook or whatever you call that. A prep guy. I don't know what the like title for that is, but fuck yeah, they better be good at chopping. That's his job. When he has one. And it's true. I forgot who we were talking about for a second. Um... It's not funny. It is not funny. But yeah, I mean, the fact that we're talking about somebody who went to jail for stabbing someone for two years, he's really good at chopping. He's really good with his hands. He's really fucking good with a knife. Bitch, you have no idea. He asked what I did, but I'm kind of just like, I'm like, well, I'm a social media influencer. She's a social media influencer, you guys. Did you know that? I never knew that. On uh, encounter number three, Crackhead asks her what he what she does, as if he doesn't already know. Um, I'm a social media influencer. Um, and he's like, like social media? What? He's not technologically savvy at all, so I'm lucky that way. On, yeah, Amanda Ball, I know. I'm not really on Cloud9. Like, I don't have feelings for him yet. I don't have feelings for him. I just enjoy his company. You know, he's. I, yeah, he, he really. Oh, the freaking ads are on. All right, we wait. This is great. I, oh, God. It's great because at least we're reliving. We're having a great time. We have a good laugh. It's fun to rewatch these. But, but. It also does make current day seem even more boring. You know what I mean? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> you freaking wish an influencer in a way uh, of never to do anything like Chantal. Yeah. The nose huffing was so obnoxious. The nose huffing, the nose blowing, and the... <laughs> oh, I forgot how often she said. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, what the 
fuck she snorted like a bull we used to call that the nose huff she would be nose huffing and think we couldn't see her <laughs> gambling ed no get out of here gambling ads we don't want you around here fuck go over to chantal's channel stupid <gasps> foot wait football tobacco commercial truth i refuse to quit wait 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 when tobacco commercial what does truth mean oh are they telling you to like don't smoke it must be it must be we really need something good to happen thailand is getting bo getting boring getting boring. i mean fine <laughs> thailand is getting boring kuwait is was boring since the fucking plane landed the first time okay we need out he like likes me to stay over he doesn't ever want me to go so i mean that's i think he's like he probably would get attached if anything oh that's funny he's gonna get attached to her if anything mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i let him cook for me gail we had a really good, like, chicken rice stew thing. No. He has brothers and sisters, and they're all somewhere else. Yeah, Daniela. Thanks, guys. Hi, little needy. Mandy, I agree with you. I still prefer Thailand to Kuwait. Some of the videos have been good. The videos are very hit or miss. That's fair to say. Uh, but all of the live streams have sucked balls. Except we did get one sort of rager. That's the only one that was worth a damn. <clears throat> no, he's not an abuser at all. I kind of thought he was really aggressive and weird at first too, but he's not. This guy's like an energizer bunny. He does like for as a bigger girl, like SSBBW. And the way I'm built, built. I'm self-conscious about my body and positions, and I'm, I, you know, afraid to open up and try different things. And not with him. Not just that. Well, I am afraid to still fully open up. Like, I don't know how to explain it. He just has so much energy to like. Oh, this is crazy. That's what I like about him. He's he's nonstop. He's like. He lives to please. I love that. I hate selfish lovers. I hate them. Uh, she hates selfish lovers. Says a woman who can't do a goddamn thing for herself, let alone anyone else. She hates selfish lovers. Says the starfish. She hates selfish lovers. So I have my model. Hi, Shirley Bass. What happened to Karate Joe? He divorced me. He's the one who judged me every single day. If you guys logged on and had a friend who judged you every single thing that you did, slut shamed you, and you just see that over and fucking over and over and over, and then you get messages over and over and over. I hate. And I don't care who hates me for this. I hate people. I can't stand when people patronize me or give me shit for things over and over and over. You know what I mean? I get it. No, he's not right. He doesn't know the situation. He slut shames. Say it once. I get it. Don't come back. Don't message me. Don't come back here time and time and time. Because I'm going to snap. Like, I... I'm going to snap. She's such a baby. She takes it until she has a meltdown, a little toddler meltdown. That was your internet husband. You guys spoke for years behind the scenes, like you like to say. If you were so bothered by his behavior, why couldn't you just message your internet husband behind the scenes and be like, hey, Karate Joe, piss off a little bit. You know what I mean? Have that fight behind the scenes and not have to break up with your internet husband. You, like, you, you don't say a word until like, you just explode on him and fucking lose your shit, you know? I, I don't give a damn. We're talking about a PDF file here. But just in general, that's not normal adult behavior to somebody that 
again, it's not like you only talk to them in the chat. You called him your internet husband. You know? So. Oh, yeah. Tweety. Tweety. Super fucking jealous. He, like, lost his shit when Koki came on the scene. Absolutely fair. But she acted like such a massive bitch, too. I, again, a PDF file. I don't give two shits, you know? But it was fucked up behavior on her part. And, and like, he just needed to calm the fuck down. If you want to judge me, then do it elsewhere. That's why no more Karate Joe, I guess. So that's that's it. <laughs> sure, Daka, you can hang out with us here. No problem. Thanks, Gail. You know, um, sorry. It really has, amen. I don't know, like, what else to say, really, honestly. If every, like, if you had a friend, every single thing you do, they were fucking judging you and making you feel like shit about yourself, you wouldn't want to, like, talk to them anymore. Honestly, I'm not fucking, you know. Anyway, that's that. Um... <clears throat> Hi, Keon. I'm going to go home and sleep sleep some more because I slept like shit, obviously. Excuse me. Didn't sleep long. At all. Like, barely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tweety. And, and Koki was like, it did a number on her. Shannon. Uh, Karate Joe. <laughs> and a lot of her audience. Like, she kept telling everyone, if you don't like it, don't watch. And go watch it somewhere else and stuff. This was like the heyday of the reaction channels, Crack at Olympics. She kept telling everyone, hey, if you don't like it here and you want to speak somewhere, like go find somewhere else to watch it. And a shit ton of people did. A lot of people you talked to in the community came in during Crack at Olympics. Uh, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? She got what she wished for. <laughs> and the birds were coming out. And then uh, I thought we were going to like doze off. and uh, But then he's like wanted to do it again. TMI, but I was just like, what? I'm just like shocked. Anyway. Um. That's right. Salad did get her to lose the Trinity. And what I think Salad did, it's like, it's like if her channel had a tap, okay? You go into a bathroom and you turn on the tap, the water. He left that, tap. He, he turned on the tap and he left it running. And what's running out is the viewers, okay? It's so fucking boring since his appearance, we went through years of boring with this woman, but boring in Canada, doing her crazy Chantal shit was a different level of boring. Then she meets Salad and Salad is slow bleeding this channel to death, in my opinion. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no bruises. He's very gentle. All I have to do is tell him what he what I like, and he does it. <clears throat> yeah, the comments were just getting on my nerves. I don't know what. I don't know. So that's all I got to say about that. I don't want to badmouth him anymore. I'm just I'm over it. Like whatever. Um. Get you a man that listens. He just wants. Yeah. You know he's very giving. And he's got a nice set of eyes. He's just so funny. I'm just like everything he had, like a witty. He's very shy. I can't explain it. You know, like those people that just make you laugh. Um, he's really, I don't know. He, he doesn't want kids. He's like, doesn't want kids. So. Good. <sighs> Skip forward, I don't know, is it a month from now, two months from now? Crack at Olympics. Her whining and crying at the kitchen table that she wants to give him a, a kid. Oh, what? <clears throat> yeah, Ashley, I told him I'm just like a social media influencer. I don't think he even like knows about YouTube. Well, like, you know. Hi, Obi Brigay. 
I'll probably, you know what? If I remember, I'll try to get a picture of him today, uh, of us together. Like at least his arm or something. <laughs> oh yeah, you remember the first picture? He was wearing the mask. Cause, you know, Rona and everything. Okay, okay, but he didn't want to show his face. He was wearing the mask. And then there was the slip at the magic show. And we saw those fucking teeth. And everybody understood why he was wearing that mask. <clears throat> um, He has his permanent residency, so no, he doesn't. Surely don't. You should know these men are made up anyway. You all know that's not true, and you're just looking for something to fucking pick at. <clears throat> but whatever you want to believe. <laughs> Thanks, Judith. Why do people get care so fucking much about the TV? Like, that's so stupid and ridiculous. You're right. Bringing a TV to a crackhead's house was definitely stupid and ridiculous. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Why are you worried about my TV? Did you pay for it? I mean, technically they did. Did you pay for it? No. Yep. Like, <laughs> what a dumb assumption to make. Like, like that's so immature. Don't ever call. Don't ever call me immature when you say stupid shit like that. Chantal Vision. I brought the TV. He doesn't have one. He doesn't watch TV. So why does he want a TV? You know, he didn't even watch it. That's when he's like, so we're going to use the TV as a lamp, I guess. <laughs> you know, it's very, he's very animated the way he talks and he's very, you know, um, you're so thirsty. Hi, I'm Odea. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I don't, I don't get the obsession with like every little fucking thing. Like, Oh, your TV is going to get stolen. Anyways. Why is it odd, Karina Kaboom? What the fuck? He has a mattress on the floor. Who cares? Like you're gonna judge him for having a mattress on the floor? Go make more videos about Amber Lynn that no one cares about. I wish. I bet you she wishes she was getting Karina Kaboom numbers now. Can make me videos that no one cares about. <laughs> Who cares about a mattress on the floor? We all cared about a mattress on the floor. That was fucking hilarious. Fucking hilarious, Chantal. And you were like proud to be hitting that mattress on the floor. And then there, she would get mad after a while because I kept saying mattress on the floor. You know, oh my God. It was great. That mattress became like a character. How disgusting. When you think this, this is a man who will literally sleep with anything that breathes if they have a little money. You know what I mean? Five dollars? All right, hit that mattress on the floor. How many? <laughs> I'm going to say garbage level skanks have hit that mattress on the floor. Because if you're willing to touch that green peen, you are a garbage level skank. Got it, DD? Okay. Disgusting. So, don't try me today. Don't fucking try me today. Today's not the day, okay? Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> Hmm. Okay. So, or I'm sure people are going to make videos about me, but grandma spud, listen, y'all don't judge me. Okay. My dog has a fucking Sealy mattress and I'm not kidding. They make dog beds. I bet you anything. My dog is sleeping much better than the charmoots on the mattress on the floor. But whatever. <laughs> you probably brought him that mattress from the garbage judge somebody about well you have a mattress on the he has a bed too but you overlook that i clearly said he has a bed Do you want no nobody overlooked that that's part of what made it so funny picture the visual okay you we remember the trap house and everything okay the visual of a twin size bed and then immediately right on the floor right next to the twin size bed is a full ass like i don't know what queen size mattress on the floor for fucking fatties, because they won't fit in your twin bed with you. And you don't want to fuck up your twin bed. That's where you get your good night's sleep. Fatties on the floor. You want to know the furniture in his room? He has a bed, two nightstands, lamps, fucking lube, con door of condoms. Uh, what else do you want to know? What else do you want to know? Yeah, Layla, but the criticism is stupid. <laughs> like, 
some of the criticism is just stupid. And if you're allowed to criticize, I'm allowed to answer it. That's how it goes. He's a bachelor. Exactly. What do you want him to have? A friggin' $5,000 bedroom set from Leon's? Like, you know? Who talks about Leon's anymore? I swear to God, stuck in the 90s. Stuck in, like, the TV ads from the 90s. Her mom probably bought their living room set in the 90s at Leon's. Like, what should he have? A $5,000 bed set from fucking Leon's? No, but, like, th there's a world in between a, a brand new uh, bedroom set and a fucking filthy thrown out floor mattress for fatty, uh, fatty fucking. Is that fair to call it? <laughs> No, he was making his money on that mattress on the floor. Sounded like you were judgmental, but whatever. He's like, that floor mattress pays my rent and crap. Hi, Judy. Music lover. <laughs> I don't care if it's on the floor or on a box spring. My, my vagina doesn't give a shit if there's a fucking box spring or a metal frame. I don't give a crap. <clears throat> So that's part of the problem. You should give a crap. <laughs> uh, a glass pipe on the floor, mattress on the floor, crack it with half his teeth. <sighs> she just talked to us about his massive fucking weird popping veins and stuff. I mean, she was so down with this. She's living her best life. This was her best era. Nobody can convince me that she's in love with Salad and she, uh, like she was in love with Koki. She, come on, come on. She likes the idea of Salad. It's not the same. Fuck. Anyways, I love you guys too. Frat boy sleep on the floor with <laughs> He is very romantic. He was playing, he was singing in Arabic to me, and I was just like, oh my god, this is so awkward. But he has a really nice voice. He used to be a singer and like a dancer and stuff. I was just like... He was a singer and a dancer. Keep in mind, she thinks she can sing. Eh? We've heard Koki sing a bunch of times. Cracked out of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. The two of them could have gone on uh, Canada's Got Talent together as like a joint act. <sighs> singing. How romantic. Like, you know, um, I don't know what kind of restaurant I didn't ask, but he was the head chef and he was telling me about how he like, he never got fired. He's really like, he's a really hard worker and he like had to quit like a job because the owners were stupid and like treating him like shit. Like he, I don't know. I, I don't want to go into it. Sure. So uh, he was the head chef. Something happens. The the owners are treating him like crap. He quits and ends up prepping at Sammy Free. No, no. What if he was he worked at a restaurant somewhere? Okay, I'm not saying head chef, but maybe like a prep in a restaurant or like dishwasher in a restaurant. Who knows? He works in the kitchen in a restaurant, and then he decides to stab two people and go to jail for two years minus a day. Uh, so he loses that job. And then he comes out and goes at work at Sammy Free. Is that a theory? I think that's a theory. Um, The food was busted. Just like, so not, he doesn't add much salt, but you don't need it. Like the food was so flavorful, you don't need much salt. He's very, he's health conscious. So like with food and everything, like a lot of, I find people I meet from other cultures, they eat more natural food, you know? Um, I love when uh, Crackhead also is a health enthusiast, you know? No, I only eat organic as they prep their lines. He showed me, I think he's from Alexandria, Egypt. So we talked a lot about like, a lot, a lot about him. Um, I was just like really interested in knowing a lot about him. So <clears throat> people love to twist your words and cling on some details that don't even matter. Anything to desperately attack her. It's pathetic. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't care. You're a Libra too? Pranadika, I don't even know that she knew. I, I had just, just started doing reactions at this point, like days into them. She didn't know I was a thing yet. I think it really started with the crack pipe burn. And I don't know, because that became such a topic of conversation and stuff. I, I think that's where it started. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a Libra. And um... I'm sorry, that was slanderous. It's not a crack pipe. It's a meth pipe. He's very, very smart. Very, very smart guy. I, I completely underestimated him and I judged him unfairly, probably, but I didn't know him, you know? Learn about his culture. Are you going to like, just what? I did learn about his culture. <laughs> you learn about the culture, obviously, if you're going to like completely dismiss an entire culture. Learn about the culture and then come back, okay? She has nothing to say. She knows nothing about the culture. Uh, I was surprised uh, to learn something in the Arabic writing. Uh, sorry, no, my, fuck. The Egyptian writing. The, oh my God, we write this way and that way. They write this way. Learn something about the culture, she tells. Them. I love the fucking attitude at this time. Oh my God, it, it makes me so mad. Like I'm very zero to a hundred also. And when some bitch just like nye, nye, a little snark like that, I will go zero to a hundred. And I feel that happening over and over. I love this era so much. It's bringing out my crazy too. <laughs> hey, Tracy. I'm salty today because I'm not putting up with any bullshit. <laughs> if you're going to dish it, you're going to take it. That's why. <clears throat> um <sighs> don't come near my car I, I i'm also very tired i haven't had much sleep when i don't get enough sleep i'm fucking cranky like hella cranky and whenever i see something really stupid or annoying it just irritates me and i go off that's it that's it um yeah Loving this new era. Yes. <sighs> Thank you and welcome to my channel, Dee Dee. So anyways, that's... Excuse me, what? Oh my God, how badly I wish we had the chat right now. Did I just hear what I thought I heard? Okay, if this is the dd okay yeah that's right she said fucking dd okay this is april 24th 2021 her and koki had been out three times out <laughs> she had hit the floor mattress three times did she really just say dd thank you and welcome to my channel dd so any Oh my fucking Christ, she did say DD. Oh my God, it was on day three? It takes her a while to like it the most. I never realized how early DD came in on this story. Did you guys realize it was like on their third encounter? This is the morning after their third fucking encounter. Tweety played again, absolutely. fucking -lutely. Loving this new era. Yes. <sighs> Thank you and welcome to my channel, Dee Dee. Oh my God. I can, I, Tweety, Tweety, we all would have missed this because third day, like Dee Dee meant nothing to us. This is months, months later where um, she's going to like it the most. You know what I mean? Months. There was no, no reason for any of us to like notice a Didi or remark a Didi. Holy shit, that. Holy shit, three days in. What fucking timing? That's a little sus, huh? Yeah, Bambi. Wow. Wow. So anyways, that's that. Um, I wanted to think of, was there anything else? Oh my God. It was just so fun. Oh, he was a professional soccer player too. <laughs> I know it's going to sound like he's like lying about all of these things, but he was for a while in Egypt. Um, he was a professional soccer player, like not professional. Like he, well, I don't know. He said that, but I don't know. It wasn't like, it was like for Egypt or something. I don't know. Anyway. Um, he was showing me like some soccer moves that he had. He's really good. That was like a turn on for soccer me because he's moves. so athletic and fit and I'm not, but it doesn't matter because he is. And <laughs> I'm sure he'll whip me into shape. I told him, I'm like, I need to exercise. 
he's like, oh, I'll get you. He's like, no time. You'll, you, I'm going to cook for you healthy, um, give you any sex exercise you want. But I don't know what it is. I'm not. Okay, Tweety, Tweety. My brain is going a million miles a minute here. Wait, wait. This can't be. It cannot be that Koki and Didi knew each other before any of this. I, I, I just can't figure out if this was a coincidence or had Didi somehow. No, it's fucking impossible. It can't be. No one knew who he was yet. This has to be some massive, weird fucking coincidence. Or Chantal chatted up how great he was for two days and Didi was already liking it the most. I don't fucking know. But she can't be part of the grift. Later on, uh, it's clipped somewhere on my channel. I'm going to find it going through the archive. I'm, I'm trying to put all of this crap in order as we go along, you know? Later on, we're going to come to the clip of Koki talking to people. They, they would encourage people, remember, to call him on, like, I think it was Facebook Messenger, if I'm remembering correctly, and, uh, like, like viewers to call. And Chantal, at times, was also telling them, like, call, call. Like, it's boring. They wanted something to talk about on the streams. So Dee Dee one day calls Koki and we have recording of that fucking call. I have it clipped somewhere on the channel, somewhere way back. And, and she, it, we now know that's Dee Dee's voice fucking talking to him and saying like, he's like, asking like, do you live close to me? And she's like, well, I live close, not in Canada, no, but I live close. Da -da. That is the call where she liked it the most. Hmm. We know that they didn't know each other before that call. <gasps> but now I got I got to go back in the archive and see where was that call. Because now we know she comes into the story actually on April 24th. How long then do we wait for her to like it the most? Uh, I don't know. Or do I like him? I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely not falling for him or anything. Do I want to go back? tonight yeah i'm kind of like excited to go back you know what i mean oh oh i'm gonna find that call i remember posting it up i think i had posted it up on its own on the channel as like a, a minute or two minute video or something i will go back i'll be so hyped when i find this we whatever if we're on twitch we'll discuss it if we're on fucking youtube i will show you guys whatever let me find it he eats natural food yeah like this is not fucking natural food why i say here you know like he, for breakfast he like eats eggs or whips up some tahini and molasses and eats bread and fruit like he said he could live off fruit and nuts that's his favorite and i'm just like okay i can live off cheesecake okay but <laughs> oh my god so he's really really cool yeah apparently <laughs> that's what i said to him i'm like so you played soccer that's just like a pastime. Like he played soccer for a while. Like he's older. Like he's not old, but he's like maybe a couple years older than me. But he had like different times in his life where he did different things. So he's a very active person. He didn't sit down like the whole time. He just like talking and being very animated and dancing around. Hi, Beth. Ride the wave, baby. Yeah, Andreas. I think I'm going to just. Exactly. He doesn't seem genuine. Why? There's no red flags. What's the red flag? Hi, Amodea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Chica Pika, how's it going, girl? I've been here since before then, and I haven't heard that call because it was on his channel. He had already made his channel, which is good. It gives me like a timeline, sort of where to start looking from, you know? It was definitely not like Chantal wasn't there for that call. But when he had started his channel, they started doing that. And some like even when she wasn't there, he would she, he would do that. And it was a night that Chantal was not there. Didi called him. Hey. He flirted with her on that call. Hell yeah! And she was like throwing herself at him on that call. I think he's thirty nine. He said thirty nine. Um. He has a permanent residency, so he doesn't need papers or we don't have a green card here. Why does everyone just stereotype people from eth like eth other ethnicities that they just want and, and fat women that they can't like a fat woman, you know? Yeah, that's I was going to say it's not about his ethnicity. It's the fact that sorry, sorry, not sorry. People would, you know, want to get busy with you, starfish. 
Like, I don't get that. I don't know. He went, <laughs> he smacked my, I have a hump here. He's like, I notice bigger people. He's like, I always went, Lisa, go up to my mom and just tap her thing back here and be like, how do you get this? What do you feed it? Is it hungry? <laughs> He's just really funny. I don't know. He's just a really happy person. And it is his, his energy is infectious. And I just like being around, around that. Oh, apparently. Yeah. The, the call, I know. I'm like, oh, that's what I say. Either it was missed because it happened on his channel and nobody was like watching every second that he was live. You know what I mean? Um, but it's where that whole, I like it the most about Dee, Dee came from. She said that to him on that call, I think regarding his cooking, he was talking about his cooking and saying like somebody liked his cooking and she's like, yeah, well, I like it the most. And that's where we got that from. It was that call. Pizza, um, well, people were like, oh, I found pieces tender profile. He like matched with somebody or something. I don't know if I should be telling you that, but I don't know. If, I don't think he would mind. I'm not going to tell you about her. I don't really know. But apparently like she's like, they're a lot alike. I don't know if they talked more or not, but apparently they just like said, hey, and oh, I... <laughs> it's not abnormal. So, oh, yeah, I'll just say that. But he's like, you know, I know you guys are worried about him. Damn it. Oh, I fucking hate, I hate that mattress though. I don't like it. Oh. Courage for your breakfast. Be happy and, and be you. Does he like cats? Yeah, I'm like, do you want to see my cat? He's like, why are you talking in this different voice? I'm like, that's how I talk to my cat. So I showed him the picture of Sam and went, isn't he cute? And he was like imitating me. He's like, oh, he's so cute. He's really funny. Yeah, we just like acted. I don't know. Like I was like, like I said, my, my, my cheeks are sore from laughing so much. Every single thing he said. And like, if you can make me laugh and hold a conversation for hours from like 6.30 p.m. till 1.30 a.m., I, I can't. Like, it's just magnificent. And then a man who cooks for you, like, what? You know, anyway. <sighs> Louis! How are you feeling today, Louis, Mr. Beezer? <laughs> thank you, Sharfa. Oh, I do remember you. Sharfa, Sarwar, thank you. <laughs> Exactly, Bianca. It's so close-minded and ignorant to say things like that. Friggin' hell, I'm sorry. I'm being quiet. I'm looking for the goddamn clip. I can't find it. I will find it when we're not live. <sighs> Hi, Jeff Valley. Too many Budweiser's? <laughs> I think so. I don't need any more mods, that's for sure. Thank you. I'm going to be getting rid of some. That's for sure. I don't have time to deal with that shit right now. Like, drama? I, fucking miss me with drama. I honestly can't stand it. And he's a, he hates drama, too. Which is really good. I hate, like... Ugh, I don't know. What for? Like, what's the point? What? There's no, there's no purpose for it, you know? It's just stress for nothing. Like, who likes that? Live my life. So, what I'm going to do is go home and... What are you looking at? I hate when people look at me in the car. <laughs> I'm going to go home and uh, sleep with the cats and cuddle the cats. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'll do is... <sighs> oh, yo, yo, yo. What was I going to say? <sighs> Jinx. Because uh, my nose is blocked. How fucking disgusting is her? She People are asking her, like, why are you huffing like that? What's going on with those things? Because my nose is blocked. And then she does one right at you. Disgusting. It's like the shisha thing. Please stop it with the shisha. So she'll do like an extra big one and blow it directly at the camera. 
always been a schmuck will always be a schmuck. African ads. Hold on. Blocked by the snow. Hell yeah, Bambi. Taco Bell ads. Love to see it. I hope it was Baja Blast. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, okay. Let's talk about the Baja Blast <laughs> during the ad. So everyone, y'all been sending me the DMs and emails and stuff about the Baja Blast gelato that they're making. Unfortunately, it was a two-week test run at one location only in California. So it ends uh, yesterday. <laughs> and I'm not going to California for gelato if it comes here, though. And it fucking better come here. If they release it everywhere, Taco Bell better not dick around Canada. We always get dicked around. And I'm going to go home and sleep. And then, so, yeah, I can't go live later. I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of shit. I need to do laundry so bad. Like, I'm commando. I don't have any clean underwear. <laughs> Why did I just say that? <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, get ready with me live. I can maybe do that. I'm going to get all pretty again. You look good today, too. I, I know. So, like, next week, I'm going to do videos for sure. Um, or, yeah, because it's already the weekend. So, I know I keep saying that, but it's going to happen. I'm just busy right now. Okay. No, Stacy Lurkin, I don't have to because I don't live with him. That's what I'm saying. And people are like, oh, will she sell the Kia? Has she sold the Kia? She owes more on it than it's worth. No one's going to pay what she would be asking for the Kia. When you open the door, it smells like badge, <laughs> free balling, mm -hmm. sweaty free balling, sweaty fupa free balling, mm -hmm. and uh, twisty misty that spilled on the other seat two years ago that was never cleaned, that was left to dry in the hot sun. Mm -hmm. And probably a million like takeout wrappers and, and God only knows. Oh, the stink. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she sold the gear. And I don't plan on living with him. And he knows I'm a fucking, I'm lazy. He knew that from the, he knew that from the get-go. Like, he knew. <clears throat> I don't know how he knew. It's like, I can read people. <laughs> I don't know. Um, He's just really smart. He has a lot of knowledge about things. Like, you can tell it's like life experience as just being somebody who's had to grow up fast as a kid. His dad died. He had to be the man of the family. He's always provided for his family. Oh, shut up. He hasn't provided shit. He can barely provide for himself, fucking freeloading loser. <sighs> oh, yeah. I used to get so mad about that. You're still making payments on a 2016 Kia Rio. <laughs> Yell at her. It boggles the mind. You know, he just gave his, like, family, like, $5,000 for Ramadan or whatever. So, he get, like he takes care of his family. And BB did that, too. It's very common in other cultures. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna go back. Well, he's like, are you coming? Are you gonna come back tonight? <laughs> you just can't get enough of me, can you? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back. I think I'm gonna go back. Oh my God, I am. I have fun. I'm. I'm looking forward to like him cooking, and I like watching him like cook and listen. I really like the Arabic music. It's really nice. Hi. Oh yeah, yeah. Shauna, I'm also lazy. His nickname is Dom. Yeah, I was sending the Snapchat, and he wanted. No, no, no. I'll never call a phys That's This is why we came up with Koki. When realizing certain things about him, uh -uh, I refuse to call an abusive man Dom. And so the name Koki was born and it really fucking stuck. And she would get so mad. We would say every time she'd get mad, we remember chanting Koki, Koki, Koki. And she would get so mad. Let's get in it with me. So the girl was like, whose arm is that? <laughs> So I could try to take a picture, I guess, uh, for people. I don't know, like, whatever fucking receipts you want. Um, <laughs> thank you. Dom is a Dom. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Do you think he'll want to be in your videos? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. Bambi, that's a good question. Um, I would say no. Not, like, as obsessively. But for these specifically Koki and now Salad, she's trying so hard to be someone she's not because they 
cut both weren't attracted to her. You know what I mean? It was like, so she was trying to be more like them, seem more appealing to them. Whereas BB genuinely liked her at the beginning. The only things I can remember of her, let's say, trying to like obsess about his culture was food wise. She would eat a lot of African food, but he was the one doing most of the cooking. So, I mean, like, eat it or don't, bitch. But if you, like, he's not going to make you something else. But I seem to only remember when it came to food, she would, like, be down with his culture or or even talk about it at all. We never heard her tell us about he was from Senegal. Like, outside of food videos, I never heard a word about him in Senegal, ever. I don't want to fucking have that. I don't want to tell people. I don't, I just want to have like a thing where I go over there. I escape from YouTube. I escape from you <laughs> I escape from my house. I escape from everything and just go there. Like hang out with somebody that oh, I'm smacking my hands a lot today. Um, She's smacking her hands a lot today. Cause that's something Koki does all the time. When he's standing in the kitchen and he's talking and da, 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 he always smacks one hand into the other. She would pick up his stupid mannerisms. That's what we would always know she was lying. Remember like, no, 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 I haven't seen him. And then in the next sentence be like, yo, start a sentence with yo. We fucking knew it. Because she's got no personality of her own and she's a personality sponge. So when she hung out with him, she became him. I don't know. I don't want to live stream from his house yet. Um, he is keeping to myself. Yeah. Oh. He um. Okay. So. <laughs> you can't do YouTube for your entire life. Well, maybe. I don't know. So, do, 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 what's his favorite thing about you? I don't know. I didn't ask him that. I mean, he called, said I'm beautiful. So that's nice. Yeah, it's nice to hear him say things like that. Like, touch my leg and be like, I love your soft thighs. Or even if they're fat, because they are soft. And everything, you know? Yikes. <laughs> uh. It's so fucking nasty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just picturing it and it's fucking cokey and her. And bleh. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Ulysse. Oh, wow. Thank you, Ulysse. Thank you so much. Glad you're working out. All that matters about this guy is he makes you happy and puts it down. Hope you buy some new shoes and get back to workout. Yeah, with my fitness. And Ulysse, thank you so much. And that's actually what I'm going to do is actually... I have to get back to my walks this week too. So I want to do the walks. I'll probably do like, I want to try to do maybe a live stream every day, even just to get ready with me or whatever. And I want to try to do videos like regularly as well. So um, I'm going to see, I don't know. Um, but um, thank you. I appreciate it. Anyway, I need, I need to go to bed because he's going to call me <laughs> like, He's crazy. He'll sleep now and then he'll get up and call me and be like, are you coming back? When are you coming over? So, Interesting. So what, three days in, he had already stopped working? Or was this a weekend? Hold on. Let me check on my little calendar. Can we go back like that? Oh, God. Oh, my God. We can. Hold on. 2021? April 24th. It was a Saturday. Okay, fine. He gets the benefit of the doubt on this one. I'm like, shit, three encounters in. He already quit his job. Nope. It was a Saturday. I'm like, you're annoying. I talked about my cats. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, she wouldn't let him control her life. Exactly. Thank you very much, Sherry. Um, bye. Is he spanky spanky? A little bit. Not much. But, you know. No, mark his life journey and I don't care how much she weighs, honestly. I never did, you know. <laughs> Fuck fucking 600, 700, 800, 200, 100. I don't care. I don't care about people's weight. I don't sit there and judge people on their weight or talk about what they're eating or I don't fucking I don't care. Like why I don't I don't know. And I'm I'm very 
you constantly judge people on their weight, but then get pissy when people do that to you. Very fortunate, uh, you know, that I can come on here and talk about dick and fucking whatever and not have to worry about picking apart people's choices or, you know, like I just, uh, it's, if that's your thing, that's cool. But that's, I don't know, like, I don't know, whatever. That's, I'm, you know, I, I can't, Nick is so history in my mind. Like he's <laughs> because Nick either didn't exist or was married. So blah. Like ugh. anyway, you guys were right about him. He's so blah. She says about somebody that she never actually met because he blew her off every single time that they were supposed to meet up. If you believe that he exists, I'm still on the fence about that. He's so blah. Well, Mr. Blah is going to come back on the scene every time Koki pisses her off. Fuck him, honestly. Did he do it seven times? He probably would have. He probably would have, um, Yesenia, because it was at least three. Yeah, it was three. <laughs> it was just like a whole mesh of like cuddle in bed, cuddling. Um, and then, you know, things would escalate over and over again and i'm just like i'm so tired i just want to go home but i was but then when i would get into it like when he would touch me because he's so knows what he's doing oh my god and he i never been with a guy who's a dirty talker oh my god this is really tmi but whatever i'm gonna fucking say it anyways he he why am i telling you this should i tell you <laughs> oh <laughs> like this right here this like internal battle with her own head is the reason that you need a fucking friend in life no you shouldn't be telling the internet i don't even know what exactly is going to come out of her mouth right now but whatever it is if you who has no judgment at all thinks that maybe you shouldn't tell the internet you know what bitch don't tell the internet there's a little bit of dom and sub going on when we talk like I'm not like yes sir like or like he's really like okay this is block your ears he'll be like you know he's the kind of guy he'll say things like do you want to finish like you know we can want to say finish but do you want to finish tell me do you want to finish beg me or whatever like he's really he's so good at it he's so I'm gonna puke I'm gonna puke I'm gonna puke why would you tell the internet that why would you tell the internet that? Why would you tell the internet that? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I said that or stuff. It's it's just an example. He's just so like, oh my god. Drives me crazy. I can't stand it. <sighs> and you know what? Who cares? Even if he fucking steals my TV or whatever, it turns out to be your imagination of him. I don't care. Like the TV cost me fucking, I don't even know, $90. I don't give a shit. You can buy another. He actually turned out to be way worse than anyone imagined. Nobody guessed that he had gone to, you know, jail for two years, minus a day for shanking two people. Another one right now. Like, I don't care. <laughs> you know? What is Charmuda? I don't speak stupid. Yes, please. <laughs> I see you, Elizabeth. If you see your comments, you're not blocked, I don't think. <laughs> That was a generous super chat, Juliana. I'm very thankful. Thank you. 50 shades. Oh my God. <sighs> Everyone's a stranger to you until you get to know them. Like anybody in a relationship right now, at one point they were a stranger to you. We support you TV and all. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Lori girl. Why are you so worried, Nicole, about the TV? What's your problem? You're obsessed with it. It's like your second comment about it. If you see that your comments are showing up, that means you're not blocked. That's so stupid. <laughs> you can see your own comments show up when you're blocked. Other people can't see your comments, but what is Charmuda? I don't speak stupid, right? Uncultured sway, and she called us. I don't know. It's just so weird. I mean, as if you people act like I'm completely incapable of living my own life. Like, are you, are people, these people life coaches? No. You know, like, I'm not stupid. 
Hi, Danielle. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Who cares about the television? Right? I don't even think about it. You guys worry about it more than I do. I don't care. You know? Jeez. Well, lockdown, yeah. But, I mean, like I said, I don't do anything else. I'm very careful. Otherwise, he lives alone. Normally, people who live alone are allowed to join another household. So. No. Not in Quebec. I can't speak for Ontario at the time. But big fucking nope, asshole. They are not. That was part of the whole point of it. No mixing of households. And if you live alone, well, screw you. You're alone. Oh, we're going to hang out with each other. You know? And quite frankly, I'm fucking sick of it. Like, whatever. We've been, like, what, a year and a half now? Fuck, like, I don't know. Like, whatever. I'm sure I'm not, I'm not the only person. There's people, this, people right here probably do worse. You know? Like... Ah, uh, that's so consistent with her. It's always whatever she's done. There's somebody on this planet Earth who has done worse, no matter what. Yeah, but it's just stupid. It's just something else to slip out about, you know. <laughs> Bipolar manic? Are you a psychiatrist? <laughs> just stupid, stupid. Hi, SVB. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go to bed. So I guess I don't know if I'll go live for a get ready with me. Maybe I could. Oh god. I gotta do laundry. Same, Fanny. I remember that year. Well, I was so livid during this fucking thing and stuff. Uh me too. None of us got to go. Christmas was like canceled. The only one who had Christmas that year was Francois Legault who is the one who had implemented the rule about no mixing of households at Christmas. Um, people got photos of his sons being his grown ass adult sons who do not live at home being at his home for Christmas. They got the picture. So everybody followed that rule or was expected to, except for the schmuck who made the rule, whatever. <clears throat> Unless so don't be. Uh, I also spent Christmas totally alone because I lived alone that year and there was no fucking mixing of households, right? So that was the Christmas that we were live because, again, it was crack at Olympics and timing. I was here. Fuck all to do. All alone. Da, da, da. We were live, like, all day on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Just crack at Olympic and it was great. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Rio. That's right. Lewis, whoever has not sinned, throw the first stone. Exactly. Like, say happy turn out. Looks good on you. I love you, Lewis. Yeah. Ruby wears. Hi, Samantha G. Uh, yeah. I already addressed that mojo, and I don't think you listen very clearly, do you? I don't meet strangers. That's it. Um, you love the lives, Anna Bloom? Yes. I don't know whatever became of Lewis. There was that arc where he was possibly going to be moving into the villa with them. It was weird. And then when that didn't happen, Lewis fucked off. <sighs> I have a nasty attitude. Why? Because I'm sticking up for myself and you don't like it? Well, that's tough tits. You know, you don't like my answers. Don't ask stupid, don't ask questions or, you know, make comments that I'm going to answer. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and tough titty, right, little nitty? Tough titty, little nitty, that rhymes. <laughs> Cat queen, don't stress. Uh. <laughs> look at her she's rocking she's so antsy to end the stream she's gonna say i have to go home and sleep and whatever i think she just wants to um <clears throat> re-up you know what i mean it's been a while now she's eaten she's good to go she's getting antsy uh, so 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 anyway what was I going to say? So I had a really good time. I'm actually like 
surprised how good of a time I had. Never been in a relationship like this before. It made me really see how beautiful of a culture, though. Like, I don't know. I think it's really interesting. I love a man who can cook. Did I say that? And who talks dirty in bed and can go all night on no, like, very little sleep and still be a workhorse. And no, he doesn't do cocaine. <laughs> He'd be like that. He's just naturally, like, really energetic. <clears throat> He's very in shape. Probably because he played soccer most of his life, right? Like, that athleticism never really left him. Oh, there's a beagle! Oh, the fuck was that? <laughs> Yeah, he does. And it's like, no, he's not exclusive with Coke, but he'll do anything he gets his hands on for free or his speed. We're not in a relationship. Um, not regularly, Nicole. He doesn't do it. Really, girlfriend pants? Many people are scared of Arabic culture. I know, and that's kind of ignorant. Like, you know, most people who are don't know anything about it. They just judge on most people are scared of Arabic culture, Arab culture. First of all, Arabic's a language, you dumb fuck. Most people are scared of it. Like, Chantal is the one in this stream who's like, Sharmuda, I don't speak idiot, or whatever the hell she said. She's so fucking ignorant, and now she's gonna start being the fucking cheerleader for the cause. It's just, God damn, Chantal, you offend everybody. You have offended everybody. Don't, like, get on a podium for anyone either, okay? It comes off as super fucking weird and fake. Whatever, you know? No, I didn't say I'm in a relationship with him. And I don't want to be. I just want to friggin' hang out and have fun. And that's cool, you know? Um, the woman at, his, at the house was, like... The woman at the house was so like, apparently he said that she, did you see her mouth? Which the woman at the house was, the woman at the house was, and she makes a face like she's disgusted. This face is talking about how disgusting another woman was. He, I don't know. He was, she, he has another room. And she was going to pay him, like, as, like, he wants to rent the room out. And before he met me, I think they had, they did it, like, twice. He said twice. And then he said, like, I got there and she was, like, I don't know, she was really angry. Like, well, you're going to go fuck her. You're going to go fuck her. Blah, blah. Like, really jealous and weird. It's just, like, um, he's, like, you're renting the room. You're supposed to rent the room. He was like, right, he's like, are we boyfriend and girlfriend? You know? Um. <laughs> so Chantal at this point is the DD to the woman in the kitchen. She will soon become the woman in the kitchen herself. It's amazing. What a fucking idiot. Uh, is this when the twisty misty era started? Yes. With the, and all that stuff. She got into the twisty misties. And, uh, you know, obviously they're not. So I don't, I don't she has no right to be mad because she, like, they're not boyfriend and girlfriend. But it oh my God, clip that right there and put that to every fucking insult that she ever threw at Dee Dee for stealing her man and stuff. She had no right to be mad. They weren't even boyfriend and girlfriend. Well said from the big bitch's mouth. Mm. It was awkward. I was like, at first I was like, I was turned off a bit because I'm like, you know, are you one of those? Like he, he might be sort of one of those. I don't know. Like you're like, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I, I guess they, it ended badly. And, but if they're not in a relationship, she has no right to tell him he can't have girls over. Like, fuck off. You know, <laughs> like it's, who are you to tell him? Oh, he, you know. Exactly. He didn't like her. He didn't kiss her or anything. They just... I don't know if he's telling the truth. I think he is. I trust him. Not trust him fully, but I think he's like... I don't... He doesn't strike me as a liar just based on the whole night of conversation and how he 
handled situations he was talking about. He's very, uh, morals and ethics are very important to him. Um, so yeah. Um, so does she live there? No. Uh -oh. uh, yeah, yeah. Well, no one's forcing you to watch DJ Hawk. I mean, you know, just think of it as fiction, I guess then. I don't know what you want to look like. Men always tweak the truth slightly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, No Mayo. Okay, the next time we're either here or YouTube, which I don't think we'll be doing YouTube later today, guys, but tomorrow is Friday. So if we don't come back live on Twitch before Friday, tomorrow, we will definitely, definitely listen to that together, okay? I realize a lot of you guys hadn't heard that call. She was BBW, but I'm bigger, like I'm bigger, but I'm prettier. Like, I don't think I'm like super pretty or hot, but I'm definitely pretty. Like, I know that sounds bad, but. Hi, Hannah, Hannah. Better looking than 90% of YouTube though, right? <laughs> I'm prettier. <sighs> Full of shit. <laughs> I have no idea. Um. But anyway, so that was that. Uh, I blocked it. Oh, no, I didn't block him, but I told him, uh, have a nice life. It's your loss. You know? <laughs> that girl seems... Yeah, for real. This is the face. Who's, I'm prettier. I'm prettier. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, she she sounded crazy. Members only. Exactly. I think I'm going to do that. Not that, I, I mean, it's going to get leaked to hate her, so that's not why I do it, but just because I want to do it. Hi, Matt O'Day. Do what? The only friends? Is this the only fries? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, peeps. <laughs> Nick is weirdo. I don't know, Cat Queen. I didn't check. I just deleted the whole thread. Like I don't I don't even care about him at all anymore. I don't I don't I'm so not interested in meeting him, honestly. Like if he messaged me, I'd be like, fuck off. <sighs> you know. What am I gonna have to eat? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, I don't know if have members yet. only. I didn't even realize there was memberships yet. Okay, my bad. Or I'd love to see his cooking skills. He'll probably cook. He loves to cook. Yeah, the girl in the apartment, exactly, but it's not really a red flag because he's not my boyfriend, right? Um, he doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't owe me. He's very honest, so, you know, like, oh, yeah, have sex. But I think if we regularly, like, I'm going home and ordering a whole bunch of sex toys. Like, I'm going to get, like, a mask. I'm going to get a mask, a blind. He said blindfold is amazing because you don't see anything. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't bleh. Koki gets her tips and she has to share it with the chat. Nothing is sacred to this woman. This, these kind of conversations that went on for years on her channel is exactly the reason why people have such a hard time right now, present day, that she's like, no, I don't want to be uh, sharing anything about my life anymore. And everything is so goddamn secretive. We went from hearing what sex toys she was ordering on Koki's advice, huh? To now, she won't even tell us how long her little stay in Thailand is going to be. Or what day they were leaving to go to Thailand. Or like, that they were even fucking going to Thailand. You know what I mean? It's, it's, huh, it's always one extreme to the other with this lunatic. She's insane. Insane. Thing. So your other senses, he's like, I want to blindfold you. Like, this is like 50 Shades of Foodie Beauty right now. Okay. We should start a series. 50 Shades of Foodie Beauty. It's better. Is it? Yeah, he's like, I want to blind. Like, I didn't do it yet, but I want to, you know. I'm like, I'm going to get a blindfold. He's like, why well, get one? He's like, I'll just put a scarf. I'm like, I can't get into it if there's a scarf. It has to be, I don't know, a man wearing a mask. Just something. Oh, my God. Like, it's a, such a turn on. Oh like, one of those, like, God, mask masks. Masks, like, from that movie, Eyes Wide Shut. The freaking, oh, that is hot, man. Blech. 
I should start an only. I, should, I did do OnlyFans, didn't I? What the hell? Anyway, I can't even keep track of my own friggin' stuff. Um, he wants handcuffs, and I said no, 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 because I don't. Kind of ironic that somebody who went to jail for two years minus a day for shanking two people would want anything to do with handcuffs after coming out of there. Just saying. I don't trust him with that because you know why? <laughs> I won't say why. It's very explicit. So, um, thanks guys. I'm going to have to go poo poo's in the kitchen. So I better leave soon. There's a bird screaming at the top of its lungs. Uh, uh. Oh, I don't think he will spinning coach. You won't. Ah, poo poo's in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm supposed to go over tonight, Charlie. I think. I mean, I don't know. Probably. She doesn't know she'll be invited yet. She never knew what was going on because he would like blow her off at the last minute or call her at like two a.m. Like, are you coming over? Um. Yay. Yeah, Nick looked like James McAvoy a little bit. Oh, a little shut bit. Shut up. Shut up. All right, guys. I got to go poo poos. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you later when I get ready, okay?